Food production is under a myriad threats, from sea level rise and climate change to disease and urbanisation. To feed a predicted population of 11 billion by 2100, we must address these threats. Currently, 95% of our caloric intake comes from 30 species, and 60% of it comes from just four, rice, maize, potatoes, and wheat. However, our historic agrobiodiversity, that is the historic number of species which have been used in agriculture, numbers about 7,000. By researching these overlooked crops, we can seek to gain the botanic information we need to address the threats that lie ahead. We'd like to share a little bit about two crops that are making their way towards your dinner table and a little bit about their story. We all know that banana plants produce sweet and delicious fruit, but did you know that a close cousin of banana is an important source of starch for over 20 million people? This false banana is NSAID, which is such a reliable and resilient crop that it has been called the tree against hunger. NSAID looks very similar to a banana, but lacks the iconic yellow fruit. NSAID is an extremely resilient crop and is a vital resource when other crops aren't available. It can withstand drought, flood and frost, so can survive in conditions that other crops can't. NSAID is a crop that could provide an increasingly important source of food for people in East Africa, especially in the face of climate change over the next few decades, and could reach our supermarkets too. Sweet potatoes, high nutritional value, resilience in tough conditions and high productivity have made it a vital staple food all around the world. Vitamin A rich orange flesh varieties have proved especially useful in tackling malnutrition and made sweet potato an increasingly popular health food all over the world. Globally, sweet potato is one of 800 similar species in the genus Ipomoea. Recent work here at Oxford on the whole genus Ipomoea has clarified the relationship between sweet potato and its closest relatives. That work also helped to identify 60 other species which produce large edible roots similar to the sweet potato. Just last year, the new species Ipomoea noemana was described from the dry highlands of Peru. It grows there amongst cacti and other succulent plants and is highly resistant to both cold and drought. Local indigenous people who gather and eat it call it yura and have described it as having a sweet taste. Hopefully this work can contribute to improving sweet potato as well as maybe producing some new crops. Threats against global food security are the most critical of our time, but it is something that we together have the power to change. In the face of climate change, rediscovering resilient and nutritional crops with robust genetic diversity is paramount. Overlooked and underutilised crops like the NSET and new wild relatives of the sweet potato can give us the power to change the narrative and take needed steps towards global food security. Could these unconventional crops be the foods of the future? And do you look forward to giving them a try?